Hey, everybody. I have not ever seen a technology get so many people so excited so quickly as MCP or the Model Context Protocol. And I'm just going to add to it today because I am going to talk about a brand new experimental preview feature of Azure Functions that allows you to build remote MCP servers. So let's take a step back for a second and talk about MCP itself. The model context protocol is nothing more than a specification that allows AI applications to talk to various tooling. Now, I've heard it called compared to USB-C or uh, like a universal remote control or stuff like that. But here's the gist of it. You have a application that uses an LLM of sorts. So for now, just think of it as a chat application. And you also, though, have some sort of application that exposes some sort of core business functionality, like maybe an Azure function that happens to talk to Azure Storage to store and retrieve blobs. So how do you get that chat app to use Azure Functions when it needs to? Like, so you can enter some natural language and the chat app just knows it needs to call the Azure function to store or retrieve blobs. How does that happen? And that's where MCP comes in. Now, like I said before, MCP itself is only a protocol. So you are going to have to implement all the plumbing to make that talk. Tough. Nobody likes to do plumbing code. But what I'm going to show you today is that brand new experimental preview feature from Azure Functions that allow you to create that remote part to let the chat app do it. Great. And so everything that I am about to show you today is available at aka.ms slash MCP remote. So head over to that GitHub repo and you'll get everything you want. There are examples in Python and TypeScript, but of course, our favorite language, .NET. So here's the repo that's up. And as you can see, it has the overall overview. And you can think of this as we start getting going and function starts iterating on this as the one-stop shop to have all the quick starts and information that you're going to need to learn about using remote MCP servers with Azure functions. So C sharp is right here. So if you click on it, you'll be able to be brought to this next tab that I have open and it is the quick start for using remote MCP servers with Net. Now, you can run this quick start in a code space or a dev container. I'm going to show you everything, though, running locally on my machine. So here is the Azure Function Getting Started app loaded up in VS Code. So I want to quickly show you some of the highlights of the Functions app so you can get started really quickly. The very first thing is the NuGet package that you're going to need, and it's called Microsoft.Azure dot functions, dot worker, dot extensions, dot MCP. So this starter app is going to have everything that you need to get started. But uh, if you're doing, want to start up from scratch, that is one thing you will definitely want to have. So the next thing that you're going to want to do is builder dot enable MCP tool metadata. So the metadata allows the MCP client. In this case, our client is really going to be scheduled, uh, set up, to be copilot running in VS Code to discover tooling that it can invoke over on the MCP server. And the tooling that we have set up is going to be able to save snippets of code or snippets of really any text into a Azure Blob storage. And so here is one of the save snippet uh, functions. You can see very, at the very top, we're doing blob output. And that's the same old function binding that you know and love, where anything that gets returned from this function gets put into a blob. And then we have a MCP tool trigger. So what this tool trigger does is that it gives it a name, save snippet. It also gives it a description, saves a code snippet into your snippet collection, and that helps um, the server know what it's up to. And then it gives it a couple other bindings called property, which uh, you have a name for the property, which is happens to be the snippet name that we give it, and then the text that we want to save as well. And then coming out of here, 
git snippet. Again, we have a trigger, MCP tool trigger, again, name, description, and blob input so we know which blob we're pulling out of. Now, you might be saying, hey, Matt, I don't see any MCP tool properties here. That's kind of weird. And that's because we're showing you a different way to set up those tool properties with the builder. Just a different way to do it, both equally valid. We wanted to show you it, though. All right, and then there's another tool called Hello Tool. It's pretty much just the Hello World, just returning. Hello, I am a MCP tool. Great. Now I could run this locally, this whole MCP server locally and access it from Copilot locally just by doing the Azure uh, Functions Core CLI. Funk start would do it for me, but I, what we all came to see is how to do this in Azure. And so we provided the ability to do an AZD up. Now AZD up by will deploy the code. It'll create all the resources you need to run this particular app in Azure. So all you do is AZD up, enter an environment name, pick your subscription, pick your region, and off you go. So once everything is deployed, you'll have several Azure resources deployed along with it. As you can see, there's a storage account, there's virtual networks, but what we're interested in here is the function app. So we can open up the function app and then we can see the three functions here. They're all defined as MCP tool triggers. But I want you to make note of a couple of things. The first is the default domain. Essentially that's the URL that we'll get at the function app with. And then the second thing that I want you to note is the app key, because we'll need that when we set up VS Code to talk to this remote function. And that's the MCP extension. So make sure you copy that down because you will need it. All right. So I now have just a very simple console application open in VS Code. And what I want to do is add in that brand new remote MCP server that I put out in Azure Functions to Copilot to give Copilot a little extra functionality so I can save and retrieve snippets from it. So the very first step I want to do is I want to be able to go to the command palette, then MCP, add server, and then I'm going to make it a HTTP server, and that's my URL from before, and then I want to make sure it's slash runtime, webhooks, MCP, SSE for server sent events, give it a name, I'll accept the default, where do I want to put it? I'm going to put it in workspace settings. So it creates a mcp.json file underneath the VS Code folder in my project. Cool. So now, as you can see, I could just hit start right away. But because everything is out, we're going out and talking to Azure Functions. We want to send that key that we looked at just before. And so I put that into a headers, and that's going to look like this. All right. And so you can see that it's input. And so I also want to take a inputs in. And so all that's going to do right here is that when I click start, it's going to prompt me for an input. I'll put in my key and away I go. So put in the key, hit enter, and you can see it says it's running and it's discovered three tools. Nice. So I'll go back out to program. I'll enter the chat. One thing I need to do then is go from edit to agent. And there it is. Look at this tool, select tools. So I have GitHub Copilot for Azure installed and it has a ton of tools, but look at this. Here I am, MCP server, my cool one with git, save snippets and hello. So I'm just gonna ask it, say hello. Nice. And ask me permission to go ahead and do it. Safety first. Hello, I'm an MCP tool. Awesome. Let's let's uh, do this. Save the selected text as a snippet and call it agent snip video. Because why not? 
continue. It's going to run the save snippet. Great. Agent slips video. If I open that up, you can see what it saved and how it looks. Great. And so what I have here, I also have a test.cs file. So I'm also going to say put the snippet called agent snip video into the test method function. I'm going to run the get snippets. I'm going to call it to my Azure function remote MCP server, pull back the snippet that we saved. There it is. Cool. We have added our custom functionality to our MCP client, which happened to be GitHub Copilot in VS Code to our Azure Functions remote MCP server. Brand new experimental preview feature in Azure Functions, building a remote MCP server. It allows chat applications to know about various tools up in Azure Functions so you can make use of them. And it's all the great features still in Azure Functions that you're used to, such as all the bindings, just makes things happen. And it's awesome. So give it a try. Go out and hit up aka.ms slash mcp remote. It'll take you to where you're interested in going to. All the latest news will be put there too, up to date all the time. AZD up it, does all the work for you. Can't wait to, for you to try it out. Let us know what you think. Leave comments here. Open issues up on the repo. Everything you want. Really looking forward. I'm excited about it. I think you should be too. Give it a shot. Let us know. Thank you.